Hey guys, I'm gonna do this intro really quickly because my hand is killing me. Uh, my hand is not killing me, the camera is the killing ca me. <laughs> what am I saying? Like, I'm temp trembling. I don't even know what I'm saying. Dude, we're back right here with another video from Ash and Water Sport. And Landon is gonna talk to us about this. The Van Hunk uh, Bang Mahi, Hunk. Mahi Bang Hunk Mahi Mahi. It's a new kayak. You guys have been asking me a lot of questions about this boat, and we're gonna cover it now. Now, I don't think we're gonna put it on the water. But at least you're gonna get some information about it. So let's go. I I can't get over this idea that you guys had about using these. Um, what do you call this? Uh, it used to be uh, old sprinkler pipes. Right, but the, the cart. It's like a kayak cart. Yeah, we call it a kayak wheel cart. So. Kayak wheel cart. Like, look, you could like just pull it out and start rigging. I need one of these. I need one of these for me. That would be crazy. Okay, I need one of those. Uh, actually, like two of those. I can have them on, the, on my garage, whatever kayak I'm working on. That is so much easier. Oh, yeah. All right, so we got to cover another boat. And uh, you guys have been asking me to cover this kayak right here. We got one. So we're going to go over it. Landon's going to tell us a little bit about this kayak because he knows more about it than me. Uh, but what I can tell you here, this is a kayak that is made in China, right? That uh, has a... Yes. Pedal drive system right here, but it looks like a really nice, well-built pedal drive system, and it has other goodies. Which Landon, I'm gonna get the camera now. He's yep. gonna tell you guys about it. So let's switch. Okay, Landon, we yes. got the sun on the on your back, bro. We gotta move. We gotta move, bro. Let me wheel it over here, real fast. We gotta fast. move, man. Here, is that that should be. <laughs> that that's better. Now, now I'm a mess with this new gimbal, as you know. But do your thing, bro. Tell me about this boat. So this is actually, like Alex was saying earlier, it has the nice fin drive. The I like the fin drives a lot. They're nicely efficient in the water. And when you come up to shallow land, all you have to do is hold it like this. And now you don't even have to worry about taking it out. But the nice thing about this kayak is it gives you two options. So whenever you have your drive in, you have the hand steering up here. So you just control the rudder in the back and the rudder's already flushed. So it's already against the boat. So you don't even have to worry about dropping the rudder or breaking the rudder. But what if one day you didn't want to use the drive? You just wanted to go paddling. You can take out the drive. You'd have to do a little bit of work. You'd have to come back here and switch the lines over. But now you have an option to use the feet pegs for the rudder steer. Cool new little invention they have. Not many kayak companies actually have the dual rudder movement. And um, foot rest, yep. you know, depends whatever you, whatever you're doing, if you're paddling or you're... Uh... This, this kayak moves pretty fast in the water. It's 11 foot. It has a nice open deck area. You have a little storage hatch back here. It comes with a bag and it also comes with a rod holder and it's mount. Now, let's talk about the company. This is a fairly new company. What's the name, Bank? Uh, Van Bank, Hunks. Bank Hunks. And this one is a Mahi Mahi 11, as you can see here. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess that one thing that this company has going for them is that it's cheaper. Like, what is the price point for this guy with the drive? This one with the drive is $13.99. So it's at about the same price as the crank right there. Yeah. It's a, a slightly slightly bigger boat but mm -hmm. I mean like what do you think should you go with the Hobie fin drive or the instant reverse drive that you have over there on the crack I, I'll be honest with you they they're both good it, at the end of the day I think it comes down to more personal opinions I do like the fin drives just because whenever I'm in shallow water I can kick them up I don't have to worry about taking out the drive and breaking it but the propeller automatic reverse is also really nice especially if you're in mangroves you're fishing, you get a fish on, you're trying to back out and you can't use your hands, it does It does have a good benefit to it. So they're both really good. It just comes down to your personal opinion on the drives. That's right. And it also, I mean, it depends on, uh, this one definitely has more room mm -hmm. if you want to carry stuff. And let's talk about that. You have a nice tank well here. It's not huge, but it's sort of like flat and it's divided. Like, mm -hmm. I guess you could put a cooler right there on the back and then yep. a milk crate over there and then the seat is also flat I guess if you want you could take the seat out you can and you also can move it up and down to get closer to 
and give you more room. So like I just, if you're fly fishing, maybe you can kick this. Can you kick the seat back or no? You can't kick it back. Um, I know you can take it out. But there's that, and then you can also move it up forward. Oh yeah, but like, well, you still have a lot of clean depth right there. Mm -hmm. You need to like fly fish. Or you can just have an open deck and kind of that, use it that's, like a. That's sort of what, what I was thinking, but like, if you could like the feel free, not the feel free, the, the big, big fish. The big fish, yes. You can just kick it back and relax. They do have the kickback, that, but that it's really rare to find a kayak like that. This. This one doesn't kick back, it, the chair would just fall out. But you can also take out this chair and use it as a little beach chair if you pull up to the beach or anything, so. And, okay, so I see that you just pull it out, out of the little round thingies. Yep. Is that how you take it out or do you take the whole thing out? Like You can unscrew it and pull it all the way out or you can leave them in and adjust it back by putting it back in like that. Oh, nice. Right here on the front, you see you got a nice handle right here mm -hmm. and that's a, like a little storage place right there. You could maybe throw a water cooler or mm -hmm. something like that. Maybe a dry bag with your gear. And look at this aggressive. That looks like the bike kayaks type of like bow. What do you call that? Like that aggressive. I guess my mind is not working right now. But anyways, nice handle here. And you got the deck and the deck comes padded. Mm -hmm. Nice That's little nice. seat deck. Yep. Now, I see that the drivers latch down with those things. Can you remove the whole thing, the pot and everything? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yes. So this does come out. You could remove that and then put like a flat pot in there. I don't know if they sell it, but that's something you could do if you just want to paddle and you don't want to have the hole open. Landon, bro, look at this, man. I didn't see this before. What is that over there? So this is where you can mount uh, anchor, um, a power pole kit. You were talking about the mechanical anchor yeah. earlier. You can also mount a mechanical anchor here or a power pole anchor. No, bro, is... bro, no. You put a motor there. That's what you do, bro. Or you can put a motor here also. Right there. You can put like a Bisbee. By the way, link below if you want to buy one. Mm -hmm. And uh, sure. Look at this. You already have the full rest ready to go, so if you don't want to deal with this drive, you could just put a motor right here on the back. Like, they sell you all the accessories you want, that you need actually, to install any motor right here. Right there. Yep. Ready to go. Now, I see that this thing also have cup holders, right? Look at this. Yes, it has a built-in cup holder right here. Nice, and you have a really, look, I hate hatches, but it's nice to have one in front of you if you want to drop your keys, your cell phone, if you're in like, like if you don't want to lose something, it's nice to have that there for sure. Now, this caught my attention. Why is that tubing so long? This is how the company, when we got it, they shipped it like this. I don't know why the, they left the tubing really long. I think it's part of, since they didn't want the line to be so far back here, yeah. But I am not for sure 100%, but when we got them, that's, they left it to me not long, so. And now the, the way that this boat is set up right now is that the foot rests are far away because you're supposed to be using your feet. Yep. But you could definitely rig it up differently if you just want to use both or yep. use one or the other. Like I said, if you put a motor right here in the back and if I learn how to use this camera thing, I will show you. <laughs> Clearly, I'm failing at it. <laughs> Put a motor here, you want to have your hands free, bro, so you use a foot rest. The weight on it, probably fully rigged, is probably about 85 pounds, just like the crank. Without being rigged, it's probably about 80 to 75 to 80 pounds. And um, the, the drive only weighs like six pounds, right? Six, eight pounds, so. Close to 10, but. It's more than that, more than six. I think it's about 10. I think it's eight. About I weighed a Hobie one, it was eight. Was it? Now, uh, that's something you want to take into account because the. The PDL drive, they're like over 20 pounds, so. How wide is it? It's about, it looks to it's be 34. 34. Yeah, it's 34. Nice. 